What's up guys, in this video we're going to be talking about the top 5 American Express cards. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. But for now, you know the deal. What's up guys, it's Jay and welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And comment down below if you feel like maybe there's another card that might be in the top five that I didn't put in here. Just let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate it. Also guys, do not forget about my $100 American Airlines gift card giveaway for once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you are new to the channel, just please consider subscribing. All you have to do is participate in the comment section, like the videos, and make sure that you're subscribed and you're all good to go. I really appreciate it. So my number one American Express card is the Amex Gold card because it actually just fits my needs, my spending needs. You get 4X on dining, 4X on grocery stores in the US, um, and that's pretty much all I use it for. Uh, you also get a $100 airline fee credit, uh, you know, to whatever airline you're going to actually be using for that year. And you also get a $120 dining credit dispersed over 12 months at $10 a piece. I normally do Shake Shack or Cheesecake Factory. I just buy gift cards. Um, or most people like to do the pickup with Grubhub. For me, I'm all about convenience. I can do e-gift cards online, just Shake Shack, you know, and do it that way. Uh, I just don't feel like going out of my way just to go get 10 bucks. <clears throat> so I know that's probably a bit controversial because most people would put the next card, which is on my list, at number one. This would be probably reversed, but for me, you know, it's the other way around. So at number two is going to be the American Express Platinum card. This is a great card if you travel frequently. I don't travel that frequently, so I might travel maybe two or three times a year, and that's about it. Now, if you're someone who travels 10 plus times a year, then this card will be great for you because you can utilize those credits that uh, the Platinum card gives you. But what I really like about this card is that you get automatic gold status with Hilton and you get status with Marriott, and you also get access to the Delta Sky Clubs and to the Centurion lounges. And the Centurion lounges are among the best lounges, you know, that are out there uh, in the travel space. So that's, you know, one great perk. You also get priority pass. American Express just kind of, you know, discontinued the ability to use the $28 dining credit uh, for priority pass, but I feel they have something else up their sleeve. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's really not that big of a deal because it's only $28 compared to all the other, you know, valuable credits that you get. As long as you're able to use those credits, then I think this card is a very valuable card. Now, if you're not able to use those credits, then I suggest you don't get the card yet <laughs> because unless you know how to do some crazy techniques um, that would require you to get these credits, then, you know, then you're just going to be stuck paying a $550 annual fee. At number three, guys, is going to be a co-branded card, and this is going to be the American Express Hilton Aspire card. And I love this card because you get automatic diamond status, and most people don't know what it takes to actually achieve diamond status if you're actually doing it through spending. And you have to spend a lot. It requires uh, you know, a certain number of nights um, in a given year just to achieve diamond status. And you know, just by having this card, you can get diamond status automatically. I love this card because you get credits, you know, you get the travel credit or the airline credit. You also get the resort fee credit. You also get the global entry credit, just like you would if you had the platinum uh, card. But, you know, you could always come out on top with this card. Uh, you could, you know, kind of, you know, game the system by, you know, purchasing a room at Hilton at the cheapest rate. And, you know, uh, for the most part, you might be getting automatically upgraded to a suite just because you have diamond status. So, um, just be prepared that you may not <laughs> get upgraded but you know for the most part i've heard a lot of stories of where everyone who has done this trick has pretty much gotten upgraded maybe a few instances where they haven't but you know this is still a pretty amazing card to get 
in my opinion. And the annual fee is $450. And for the platinum card, you're gonna be paying a $550 annual fee. And for the gold card, you're gonna be paying a $250 annual fee. At number four, guys, is going to be another co-branded card. And this card, you most people may disagree, so this might be a little controversial, but it is going to be one of the Delta cards. It's not gonna be the one you think. I'm actually going to pick the Delta Platinum card over the Delta Reserve. And the only reason is because you get the same exact earnings in terms of points earnings uh, while you're using the card. The only difference to me is that you might get a concierge service with the reserve card. You still get a annual companion certificate when you're flying and the other difference is that it has a lower annual fee so that's why i like the platinum card over the reserve card and it's only because it is 195 dollars for the annual fee instead of 450 dollars so as you guys can see some of these cards are pretty up there in terms of annual fees so uh, you really have to make sure that you're going to be able to offset those with those credits before you apply for these cards um, and lastly guys is going to be the american express business gold card and the reason why i like the business gold card is because it allows you to pick two different categories that you spend the most now i know most people may not find very much value in the hotel branded cards which do have you know other categories in which you can earn like dining uh you know groceries with gas and all that but um you may not value the hotel points as much as you value membership reward points. So if you're going to spend something extra that may not be in those other categories for those other cards that I just uh, that I just named, then I would suggest getting the business gold card. That way you can actually choose the categories in which you do the most spending in. And so that is why I like this card. Um, you also get a 25% bonus on in terms of points. Um, and with the platinum, obviously you get 50 percent bonus um, with the business platinum but I like this card it is only $295 for the annual fee and you know I think it's an overall you know pretty pretty great card now most of you may be thinking well why did you not include the you know the cashback preferred card um, by American Express um, and I can tell you the reason why I did not add any cashback cards is because unlike Chase, American Express does not allow you to transfer cashback earnings into membership reward points. So that is the one kind of, you know, issue that I have with American Express. Now, if they did allow you, then I would put the preferred right up there um, with, you know, you know, it would definitely make the top five list just because, you know, um, they do have some pretty good points earnings or cashback earnings, I should say, for that preferred card. <clears throat> but, you know, I value membership award points or even hotel points way more than I would, you know, the cashback for American Express um, because most times you can probably get way more value than what you're going to get for that cashback. So until they you know until they make that switch then i'm always going to choose any card that earns points over a cashback card with american express only now with chase it's completely different i value all of chase's cashback cards pretty equal to their points uh, earning cards because you can transfer those cashback points into actual ultimate rewards points now if you feel like i could have switched it up or i could have you know added a different card and replaced something just comment down below and let me know what you guys think about these top five cards that i have chosen um if you know if you agree i appreciate it if not it's okay you know this is solely my opinion and everyone has their own opinion so i'd like to hear yours so make sure you guys comment down below and i really appreciate it also guys if you would like to support the channel just be sure to use any of the links down below in the description i really appreciate it and that'll conclude today's video guys for more video updates hit that subscribe button if you found this information to be helpful give this video a thumbs up i really appreciate it share it with your friends drop a comment down below to let me know what you think about my top five cards let me know don't forget to hit the bell notifications down the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever i drop my next video be a good person be safe be smart and remember credit is your life and i will see you guys in the next one peace